And now in business, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry has challenged government, business owners and other in industry players to shun traditional means of handling businesses and adopt creative and innovative ways. This, according to the group, will foster economic recovery and growth, especially at this time when the nation is confronted with economic downturns. Jacinta Obuku reports. Nigeria, just like every other country in the world, has been confronted with lots of unforeseen events in the year 2020, which have led to economic crisis. At this quarterly press briefing organized by the nation's former Chamber of Commerce, some recommendations are highlighted to make the economy bounce back. This was the second recession in five years, and we expect the recession to be short-lived if the COVID-19 pandemic is well managed at global, regional, and country levels. Going into 2021, the Chamber tasked the policymakers to pursue an investment-led growth strategy. Businesses must maintain a flexible operation structure by embracing technology to adapt to changing market dynamics. This will facilitate smooth transition when implementing remote working structures. Some of the expectations for economic recovery are centered on government towards revenue generation drive. The federal government should slow down in mounting pressure on revenue generating agencies in achieving re revenue agents. Emphasis on revenue generation propels such agencies to focus solely on revenue to the detriment of their core mandate of facilitating investment growth. And this has gross implications for the ease of doing business in the country. They also speak on the crisis in foreign exchange markets, an expectation from Joe Biden's administration. A foreign exchange market that is more market driven, where there is unification of rates, the level of the crisis will be minimized because there are likely to be better inflows and possibly even a reduction in the demand pressure. We believe the Biden administration will usher in a new dispensation for the global economy from trade to investment, foreign policy, international cooperation, environmental protection and security. The Chamber also opined that power distribution companies need to intensify efforts in metering electricity consumers to avoid consumers' exploitation through estimated billing. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.